ROS and SONARS for obstacle avoidance. My name is Tiziano and if you're new to the channel, welcome! This is a series about ROS and especially ROS and Raspberry Pi. Until now we've been playing with a dump car. It was fun, but it would be nice to have at least a basic obstacle avoidance algorithm and this is exactly what we're gonna do today. In my setup, I use three SR04 sonars mounted with a simple 3D printed bracket and wired with a custom made board. Those sensors are pretty popular because they are cheap and have a range of approximately 3 meters. That is exactly what we need for running at full speed toward our obstacle. Well, probably not that fast. In the beginning, I struggled a little bit finding the right tuning. But in the end, the algorithm turned out pretty good. And this is how I did it. First, how to connect the sonars to the Raspberry Pi. The SR04 has four pins to be connected. VCC to 5 volts, trigger to a GPIO configured as output, and echo to a GPIO configured as input. Be careful! Echo will return a 5 volt signal, so in order to make it compatible with our Raspberry Pi, we need a simple voltage divider that I realized with a 1K and a 2K resistor. But how does the sonar work? An impulse is sent to the trigger pin, the sonar emits a signal and the echo pin is set to high. Now you start a timer and when the signal bounces back to the microphone, the echo pin is set to low and you stop the timer. In order to get the distance to the closest object, you just need to multiply the time by the speed of sound and divide it by two. I bought the sonars for cheap, I 3D printed an adapter and then I connect them with just dual side tape. Then comes the wiring. I have the left sonar connected to the GPIO 4 for the trigger and 17 to the echo. The central is connected to 27 and 22 and the right is connected to 5 and 6. Now it's time to talk about the main algorithms and this is what I came up with. I mounted three sonars in front of the car. My software will scan them all and publish to a topic. When an obstacle gets in the way, my obstacle avoidance algorithm will steal the wheels to avoid it. We're going to use the central sonar as the main sensor and the side ones for deciding where to steer to. So when the distance from the center is less than a threshold that here we call the engage, a steering angle is calculated proportional to how close the car is to the object with the parameter K steer. And in which direction? By default, we turn left unless we detect a closer obstacle on the left side, in that case we steer right. And we maintain the selected direction for a little time because otherwise we're gonna have a crazy left and right behavior. We will also use the central sonar to control the brakes. This action will be proportional to the distance and is going to be multiplied by the command throttle. So a value of zero means stop. But wait a second, if you guys think that you can do it better, just post the link of your modified software right in the comments below or on my new Facebook page Tiziano Tutorials. I can test your algorithms and the best one will be part of one of my next shoutouts. And what about the ROS architecture? Well, it's not complicated and we're gonna be using all the lessons learned so far, so if you haven't seen my previous video, check them out right here or I put the link in the description below. The three sonars will be scanned by a node called DK Sonar, which publishes the readings on three separate topics, namely 0, 1, and 2, corresponding to the left, center, and right. The node DK underscore avoid subscribes to those three topics and publishes a corrective action on the topic DK car slash control slash command bell. The main node DK LLC2 is derived from our old DK LLC created in the first episode. This node subscribes to both the corrections and the commands coming from Tilly to his keyboard running on a laptop, basically our control inputs, and publishes to the servo's absolute topic. Last, the I2C PWM board controls the steering angle and the throttle. And now it's time for some actual coding. First, we create a new package called Donkey Sonar with ROSPY as a dependency. In the source folder, we first create a simple class called Sonar Nothing special here, we set the speed of sound in centimeters per second as half of the actual value and then we have the method getRange that sends an impulse to the trigger and then when the echo pin goes high it starts the timer and when the pin goes low the timer is stopped 
and the distance is calculated. Then we create a node that we call DK underscore sonar that actually scans the sonars one by one and publishes the readings each on a dedicated topic that we call DK car slash sonar slash a number zero one or two. And what message type would you use for that? It turns out that there is a perfect one called range in the sensor messages package. You should be familiar on how to inspect a message by now, right? But just to refresh your memory, just type ROS message show the name of a package slash the name of a message. As you can see, you can send the type of the message, the minimum and maximum range, the field of view, and the current range. And here in scan, we assign the measured range to the range field, and the mounting angle respect to the longitudinal axis goes in the field of view. In the donkey car package, we create the DK avoid node. The node subscribes to the three sensors topics and publishes the correction with a twist message on the topic DK car slash control slash command val that we created. Every time a sonar message is received, a simple callback assigns the reading to the left, center or right sensor based on the field of view field. And then we have the actual control logics. The get control action checks the central reading and if it's within a threshold, it calculates the steering action as a function of the distance. The control direction is calculated by get signed steer method who checks which side is the clearest and it prevents changes of directions for a certain amount of time that we call time keep steering. The program also checks whether the obstacle is too close, so it actually calculates a brake action that will be then multiplied by the user command, so zero means complete stop. Last, we create a simple launch file that calls the DK Sonar node and tests all of that. I will use my hand as an obstacle and print on screen the current readings. Great, it works! The last piece of our project is modifying the DK LLC node in order to include also the sonar readings and steer the vehicle when an obstacle is just in front of us. Here we subscribe to the topic command bell coming from our keyboard node and to the avoid actions DK car control command bell. We also create a debug topic where we publish the corrections we received. In compose command velocity method, we actually compose the two command topics. The linear velocity is multiplied together so that a break action of zero means stop and the steering angle is summed up and saturated to one. Last but not least, we write a launch file for simplicity. We call it avoidance underscore demo dot launch. It calls the launch file for the I2C PWM board and the sonar and the two DK nodes, the avoid and the LLC underscore two. And now it's time for some actual testing. Let me introduce Tom Bean and Bob Ken, who volunteered to our test campaign. First, let's run everything while holding the car on my hands in front of Bob. On the left, I plot the commanded brake actions. Here we use something that we've never seen before. It's RQT plot. Let's plot the brake action as I move the car closer to Bob and see what happens. See, the car starts steering as I get closer, and if I get even closer, it stops. Okay, systems are green, it's time for some actual fun. It took a little while to tune up the parameters, but then it turned out pretty neat. That was absolutely great, guys, and I thank Tom Bean and Bob Ken for their volunteering today. Science owes you big time. And what about you guys? You think you can do better? So post a link of your coding in the comments below or on my new Facebook page, Tiziano Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next step. Don't forget to check also all the other videos about this series and all my other series about drones, and I'll see you guys next time.